little Wolfie story time here. Perfect. I'm going to let you ask me any question about the movie. So I'm going to answer one question. Okay. Uh, anything. Nothing's off limits. And then you have to answer all my questions. I know a question I want to ask. All right. Because I left it out of my podcast yesterday, and I was very upset. And then I said, I hope I have another opportunity to ask you this because, well, now, fuck it. Here we are. So the scene with the Lamborghini crashing, the Quaaludes, because obviously degenerate, crazy man, drugs. It interests me. It fascinates me because I'm a recovering drug addict, blah, blah, blah. So, was that scene, explain how that all happened, that scene. Tell me through that, the, the Lamborghini crash. Was the it true? Crash. The answer is yes, it was true. Yes. Um, so, we're going to do a little, a little, about an eight to ten minute version here for you, and then it's going to be all you. I right? don't give a fuck. I, I, right, I can sit here all day with you. All right, here we go. Ready? It's true story. So, the only thing that wasn't true was that it wasn't a Lamborghini. It was actually a convertible Mercedes. Here's what happened, all right? Back in the day, Quaaludes, I don't think you really did lose, right? You're a little bit too, uh, no, as big before your time, right? Okay. Anyway, there was one special brand of Quaalude, the actual pharmaceutical Quaaludes. They were called Lemon 714, the holy grail of all ludes, right? So, like, well, the average lube would, like, would knock you out for, like, eight hours. Like, one of these would, like, it was, like, triple deuce. Like, you're, you're, you're out of it. These are the, the most, big bangers. The big bangers. Okay. Ultimate euphoria, right? And, like, they were known as being like, we used to call them actually leg openers. Give them to a girl, right. Bill Cosby, AKA Bill Cosby, right? <laughs> I never used them for that, okay? But old Bill, sorry about that, all right? <laughs> anyway, but they were just unbelievable. Right now, they disappeared though, because the, they were actually legal, they were real pharmaceutical. Uh, the DEA swept in, killjoys that they are, cleaned out all the pharmacies, right? And they disappeared from circulation, these amazing lemon 714s. Because what happened was, is each brand of Quaaludes, a lot of the brands, would someone get you more sleepy, someone give you more euphoria. This was the one that got it just right. Ultimate euphoria, not much sleepiness, right? But you get really fucked up. How much up. did they go for in the street real quick? Sorry, I'm going to cut they, st they started, legally, it was like 25 cents a pill. Okay. By the time I bought them that night, I paid $2,000 a pill. Wow. So here's what happened. There were all these other different types of loots. It was Methacetyls from Switzerland, Paladin Burmas from Spain, Normanox from Germany. You had your uh, Mandrex from Mexico. Yeah, each country had their own brand, right? But no one had ever gotten it as right as the people from the, the glorious chemist at Lemon, right? Uh. It's Lemon Pharmaceutical, right? So anyway, the, my drug deal, and the best name for drug deal, ready? Alan Chemtob. Perfect. Alan Chemical Tom, we call got right? it. Love so it. Alan Kemp Tom, right? He calls me and goes, dude, I got the holy grail of ludes. A retired pharmacist, he saved 20 of these things. He was going to take them himself, but his kid's going to college. He needs the money. He'll sell them to you for $2,000 a piece. Wait, so for one pill, it's $2,000? $2, $2,000. And how long did it last? Well, I'll tell you. So it's supposed to last for like four to six hours, but the ultimate euphoria, there's different stages to the quaalude. The first stage is the tingle phase where your fingers tingle. Second phase is the, I think I'm going to tell you about this, is the slur phase. Then you have the drool phase mm -hmm. that is unconsciousness, right? So the key is to stay in the slur into drool as long as possible. Tingles don't last, they're great, but they don't last long, right? <laughs> so Chemical Tob calls you. I said, he goes, do you want them? I said, do I want them? Right. Give, Ask, the, give me the mother shit. Fucking oh, right. First thing I did, what's the first, uh, X drug, what's the first thing I did? Stuck my finger down my throat to vomit up any possible food right. particles. Empty stomach. Empty, Empty stomach, stomach key, right? Enema, just for good measure, why not? But he cleaned to head to toe, right? Right? Clean myself out. I call him Danny from the Jonah Hill character, right? Right. Comes over, all right? He brings over the lewd's chemical top, right? All right? He says, listen, whatever you do, don't take more than one. They're really freaking powerful. Mm -hmm. Like, all right, fine. So, you know, hands the bottle and like all, just imagine the anticipation, right? So we're like, all right, break home and lose, right? We each take one. I have my maid bring me hot sake for just to dissolve the pills, right? Gasoline on the fire. We sit there, we're just waiting. Five minutes, 10 minutes, yeah. 15 minutes supposed to be like full, nothing. Mm -hmm. We're like, what the fuck? We said, let's go on the treadmill to get the metabolism. So we, I jump on the freaking treadmill. He jumps on the freaking stand master. I right, go on. Twit, nothing. I'm like, they're fucking duds. Give me another one. We each take another one, right? 30 minutes later, nothing. We're like, holy shit. We look at the bottle, expired 1984. 10 years prior. We're like, oh my God, they're fucking duds. They expired. We're devastated. Like, just imagine. Like, right, we're right, expecting right, to right, have the right. right. We're like, shit, let's just each take another one because they're just fucked. Right? We each take another one. Nothing. An hour and a half, nothing, right? My phone rings. So a famous private investigator, Bo Deedle from New York, right? I was like, I need you to go to a payphone and call me. My house was bugged, right? 
So I'm like, oh, fuck, I'm writing that shit down. It's mid dead winter. You knew your house was bugged? No, he was telling my house was bugged. Oh, That's okay. why he said, you got to go. It turned out my house was bugged. Right? I was under investigation, right? So I said, fuck, all right. So I, you know, I'm wearing like a t-shirt, right? I get my Mercedes. I drive out of my big iron gates. Gates open. I make a left turn, go down this road called Chicken Valley Road mm -hmm. to the old Wasp Country Club, the Brookville Country Club, a Wasp Stronghold, right? I go into the country. I walk up the stairs, right? <laughs> I go in there. I dial the first number. I'm like, hey, what's up, Bo? He's like, listen, the FBI is on to you. They got your house bugged. And I'm like, okay, well, I don't understand how they find out. And he's like, what'd you say? I'm like, uh, uh, <laughs> and all was, of a sudden, yeah. I realize, I'm like, fucker, they had a delayed fuse. And all of a sudden, they all hit me at once. Boom, it like explodes in my brainstem. I'm like, Timber, I'm right. falling over. <laughs> I land, I see the phone. I'm like, uh, 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 uh. so my eyes are burning like hot coals. My mouth is dry as a bone. My sphincter is like Kaiser drum, and I'm loving it. Right. All right, and like I'm thinking, I'm gonna like, get like, this cerebral palsy face. And this is all. This is all in the movie too, right? In the movie, yeah. yeah this, so, exactly, this is one of my favorite scenes. Great scene is when, in Leo's house is when Leo's never done drugs. Right. So actually, Leo's says, how do I act high? And I'll show you. So I, I'm crawling around on the floor. He's mimicking me. His father says, what the fuck are you guys doing? We're crawling around in his house. Because right? you said this yesterday. You were, you were doing that together. So he was trying to learn how to yes, get high. To and he was high. trying to replicate He never has done drugs lately, right. right? So he's a method actor. I'm showing him, you, you got to, I love you, right? Was, if there was any secret cameras in that house, fucking know, air it right? ASAP. I know. Get the play by play, and there he goes. There Definitely play by play on that one. one you can that would be play and by Leo's play. Leo's crawling to the left, right? <laughs> exactly. So here's what happens, right? So I am now on the floor. I'm like shaking. I'm barbing. I'm like, and I'm like, oh, holy shit, Danny's in my house. He's in the same condition as me. My wife and kids are I'm like, I'm in trouble because I was in trouble with my wife, right? So I said, I have to get home, right? So I turn over. I try to walk. I can't. I can't stand up. Right. I could not. My legs were jelly. So I start crawling like a baby. I go, my daughter crawls. I crawl. Seems like it was a good thing. We were like kindred spirits, right? I crawl out the door and I get to the stairs and I look down the stairs and I literally, I just could not negotiate. I knew if I tried to go down, I would die. Right. The beauty of Quaaludes though, is they protect you from home because they turn your body into rubber. I turn myself into a barrel and I, I roll down and says, not even a scratch, right? Yeah. So I crawl over to the car. It wasn't the Lambo with the, right? so I crawl and I get behind the steering wheel and I say what probably a million or 10 million drunk men and women have said before me, God, yeah. please just get me home this one time and I will never do this again, right? right, right. So I start the car. All right, and I pull out like I'm like a little old lady. I start driving a half a mile an hour. I'm just crawling, I make the right turn. I'm crawling out down the road. I get to my house. I make a right. I punch the gate code. Magically got the gate code right. The gates open. I go in. I'm like, thank you, Lord, thank you. I get out of the car. I crawl up the stairs. I go in and I crawl. My wife's like, what the fuck with Danny's? We got to take him to the hospital. He's drooling. I'm like, oh, blah, blah, blah. I can't even walk. They sit me down in a chair. All right now, my daughter's in in her high chair. She's drooling and having spaghetti. I'm drooling really having spaghetti together. We're like, eh, I, I, I think my daughter would be able to work with stroke victims when she got all this. Right. It was an extra superpower she'd have, right? So I'm there for like three minutes and all of a sudden, I had two bodyguards working with me at all times. Their names were Rocco and Rocco, believe it or not. Two Rocco, Rocco Day, Rocco Night. They were both there. All right, all of a sudden, they come running in the kitchen. They pull me up out of my seat. They drag me upstairs, like, come on, Mr. I'm like, what the? <laughs> right, and right. they throw me in my bed. They put the covers over me. They shut the lights up and that's that. Right. So I'm like, okay, well, it's a lewd guy gone wrong, whatever, right? Right, right. right. All right, that's that, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going have like a minute or two flow, just thinking about what's going on here. I'm like, all right, it's not so terrible. I'm floating, I'm tingling, right? All of a sudden, I sense the lights come on. The covers get pulled back. I look up, and there's two cops in my bedroom. Right. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck are you doing? And I'm like, Ugh. they're like, Mr. Belfort, were you driving your car? I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, I'm like, how did they, how did they know? Was I driving still? Had they, could they, no, I was like, uh, no, no, no. they didn't like that answer, right? Yeah, yeah. They pull me out of bed. They say, you're under arrest. They drag me down the stairs. They handcuff me, all right? And I'm barely walking. I get out and we turn the corner and I look at my car, fucking totaled out. Completely wrecked and totaled. So it happens. So you, so and I'm literally in that, I, and I collapse. I swear to God, to this day, right. I could pass a lie detector test. I do not remember. I hit seven cars on the way home, hit into a pole, a stanchion. Not, I don't remember. I swear I thought I made it home without a scratch. They arrest me. They take me to jail. Now, the beauty of Great Luz is, of course, mm -hmm. like I'm, I can't even talk, or anything, but it's not like alcohol. As soon as they wear off, you're sober. So really? like, I'm like, where am I? I'm so like, there's no hangover. No hangover. 
So now I'm in the right. jail. Like, there's like Mayberry RF Day detail jail. It's a little tiny jail in Old Brooklyn, right? Mm-hmm. And they asked me to piss in a jar. I'm like, oh, well, at that point, I was on everything but LSD, basically. It was like on morphine, lose. I mean, if I, I said, I'm up. I said, I want to call my lawyer. I said, all right, well, go call your lawyer. I said, call my lawyer. I tell him what happened. He goes, piss in the jar. It's fine. I'm like, Joe. I'm like, if I piss in the jar, I'm going to test positive for 8,000. He goes, piss in the jar. It's fine. I said, all right. So I pee in the jar, and they put the little tab. like, oh, we see you don't do acid. <laughs> like everything else is right, right, right. right? right. All right. Anyway, they say, well, that's it. And I say, well, fuck it. You know, I'm sitting here bailed out. And they're like, oh, you can't get bailed out. It's true. You're going to the central booking to the tombs, like where all the, you know, the real criminals, right? Right. right. Sure. Go. Yeah. All right. And I'm like, oh, fuck. So it's like now like 11.45 at night. I'm saying, I'm going to jail. All of a sudden, some old man in a bathrobe comes into the police station. He goes, he's like a wandering Alzheimer's victim. He goes, mm-hmm. is Jordan Belfort I'm like, yeah. He goes, I'm Judge Stevens. You're bailed out. <laughs> My lawyer got some corrupt judge out of bed. Right. And I get, I get, Bail me out. I get out. I said, Joe, I'm fucked. You had me pee in, in the glass. He goes, really? Oh, are you fucked? I said, yeah. I, I tested positive everything. He goes, really? Did they catch you in the car? I'm like, no. He goes, how can they prove you didn't take this stuff when you were home? You got to love lawyers, right? <laughs> you got to fucking love lawyers. Not illegal to have drugs in your system. Oh, loophole. I see. If they catch, don't catch you behind the wheel. I could have theoretically taken them all a day ago or right then and there. Boom. And I get away with it. Was there any surveillance of you driving? The country what happened was I actually hit someone. Right. <laughs> Another yeah. car. I didn't, you know, hurt what kill was the total damage? Oh, I, I had to pay someone like $90,000 to really? one woman, yeah. And the internet went fucking crazy. Everybody was like, I mean, Snoop Dogg, everybody fell for it. And it was like, sports announcer fired on the air. Boom. And then I kind of had it all kind of come back to my, my page and blah, blah, blah. I get it. But uh, to this day now, I still have people be like, dude, I'm so sorry you lost your job. <laughs> like, I'm like, no, not really.